Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to the Tori Modeler. In this video, we are going to make cute monsters. This is a start new startup for a new series. And we in this series, we are going to make cute monsters. So I added the picture in the pure ref. Using the pure ref, I add one picture where where we want to make the monster. It helps a lot the pure ref website software and I will add subdivision level to a cube, to the cube and duplicate it in the edit mode and add a mirror modifier right there. Subdivision is important. Later on we can keep it locally and shade smooth it later on. Just like that and move some down and move some up and turn on X remote for better results. Look for the reference images and set the shape as it looks good. I will set the shape and tweak some edges right there and move some right that. I will add another cube and scale them down just like this. This too. First, we can add legs to it and we can add arms to it like that. Scale them on specific axis or it will be a problem. There we so look out for that and set the vertices where it looks good. Just like that. Now delete the bottom and top faces of the legs and set S. S set them zero. Now add another one, another view and to make the shoes. Add a duper right here and extrude it and extrude the top part to make the shoes and move them a little bit to the side but first make the shape of the shoes just like that move them a little bit down and scale them a little bit on the x and add luka to add some solidness to the bottom just like that now move them up and insert them and extrude them inwards and add some vertices and move them a little bit to the side just like that now our leg and shoes is almost complete so delete the bottom face and select some vertices and fit the shape according to the shoe. Now I add one looker right here and move it slightly a little bit forward. And move them so here and there and duplicate the legs. Move them some down, some up and scale them and move them a little bit up to make the arms. Move them a little bit to the up and scaling is kind of noticeable because arms don't have much scaling okay we can duplicate this face right here and to make the gloves just like that move them a little bit to the closely just like that move some down and add some loop cuts right there some up and some down and keep it low poly it's important adding subdivision in the start is a good way to start the shape it's a good way to make the shape some, so, so tweak some edges right there and to make the thumb duplicate the face and export them and set the shape and wherever you like and i will move them some here and move the thumb close to the hand and close to the glove sorry close to the glove and move them close closely now our shape is main shape is almost complete now we have to apply the mirror modifier and subdivision now add another mirror modifier but and duplicate this part and to make the head head shape just like this now S Z them some zero just like that and delete the bottom vertices like that. Now delete the front vertices like this, delete this, and now we have head just like that. Extrude and scale it according to the mesh. Add one subdivision up here and mean crease this part right here and this part right here. Mean crease just tighten some edges 
to make your shape look good. Now add another subdivision to the body and then duplicate the head part where we want the head will be and move some up and just like this. So give it some solid device. Give some solidness and move some little bit down and tweak some edges to adjust the shape just like this. Now everything is kind of looking great. Now shrink wrap, we can add shrink wrap to it for correct working or correct shape. Shrink wrap is useful when we need to select and solid it and we have when we need to wrap something according to an object. Now add a shrink wrap and then add a solidify just like this. We can arrange modifier for better results like this now give it some thickness and adjust it as you like now everything is kind of looking good and select the face duplicate it and scale it now we have to make the ears for this character in the picture just like we have now select it and move them close now extrude the top part we can extrude the top part, then we can extrude the front faces like that, just like this. That's what I'm talking about. We can extrude the top part, then we can extrude it like this, and then we can move them up and move them down and select the shape and adjust the shape. Move them, rotate them, and place them correctly, but not too big and not too small. Move them so down just like this, rotate it like that, just like this. This is kind of looking good. Move them some down just like this, give it some softness like that. Move them some here and some there, just like this. Give it a separate object, make it a separate object, and scale them and move it slightly down just like this. Move them a little bit forward and tweak some edges for better shape. Just like this. Now everything is kind looking better than before. Then we add some movement to it. But first, scale it on the Z locally. And we can add Alt S. We can scale it by Alt S. Now we have to make the eyes for our this character. Turn off the clipping to make the eyes like that. In the part, we can make it make the eyes a separate object, but we don't need to do that. We can invert this face and extrude it and adjust the shape like that to make it a circle. Move the little bit to the side like that. Give it some roundness and just like this. Move them a little bit down. We will do that later. But first, make the shape, then we can do the rest of the work later for additional details. We can uh, extrude it and fill it just like this. Move them a little bit towards by duplicating it. And now we need to color it and make a separate object. First, we separate this object and separate everything but except for the body. So move this up, move the head from the back a little bit of up and select the arm and place it like correctly and give it a T pose just like this. Now everything is kind of looking better than before. Now give it some smoothness by increasing the roughness and give everything a little bit lighter and new color just like this. Give the head a little bit lighter color too. The one we, the color we need, we add it in the gloves and the shoes. And for the eyes, we need a white color and invert the main face, main two faces, and color them black, just like this. <laughs> it is kind of looking funny, but it's okay. We can adjust it later. It is giving some round, round shape. 
give it some circle or we can apply the subdivision modify to it or give the give a circle after it just like this it is kind of looking cute now okay so this is kind of looking good so delete the faces no you don't need extra objects now move them a little bit up and move them a little bit down now select the eyes part where we want the eyes will be fill them and now we have eyes in the main body move them a little bit closer move the legs and move the hands a little bit closer too so it does not make any further and long character move them a little bit down and create some edges now we have to adjust everything we see wrong now just like that just like adjust the body shape it is kind of looking fat and move them a little bit up little bit up and insert the part insert this face and circle it now our eyes is looking much better and scale it up like this okay now give it some thickness by solidify adjust everything you see wrong now delete these faces if you want but first tweak some all the edges or vertices tweak the mesh where you see it it does not look good just like the back and move them a little bit forward and move the front a little bit backward we don't need our monster to look chubby and fat and ugly just like this now and now reduce some fat decrease some fatness from the from its body now give it some uh, thickness just like solidness to its shoes and make it a little bit smaller like that now our shoes is fine looking shape is good and scale them on the x from the front now this like the front part top part of the shoes and scale it like that Now our shoes is complete and select the body and select the shape, set the shape according to the body of the picture and the picture and now move them some forward, some back and now everything is kind of looking good and move the shoe part move a little bit up and scale them to adjust the shape now move the hand part a little bit up now select this loop right here and delete and delete them and select this loop and move them and scale them just a little bit smaller like that we don't need so big hand now scale the thumb like that and move them to the glove now our character is looking much better so move the head a little bit up or a little bit forward just like that and now move the head and rotate it move it slightly toward forward move the little bit back and scale it down just like that now everything is looking much better just like our character has a nice looking small body <laughs> now move the little bit down now move the head part a little bit forward now everything is looking much better now scale the ears a little bit and we can add some smoothness to it in the edit mode and now we have to add a rig to it so if we want to animate it later first of all we add an armature right here and scale it and give it a little bit front and now only thing we need to adjust the shape of the book adjust and tweak some bones just like here after doing this, I extruded the ear parts, ear bone separately and set the feet part as well. 
and everything is now complete. Now extrude the bone from the top right here and make the ear on the both sides just like this I did right here. Now we have to give it some po cute pose for our better picture render for our better render picture just like this. So parent it but first apply all the scales right of the mesh apply the rotation and the scale and apply the rotation and scale of the armature as well now parent it to the now parent the mesh to the armature and now we need to auto turn on auto ik now we can pose it as we like i will give it a little cute pose just like that i rotate some leg and move the hand a little bit backwards and I rotated the leg right here and now it's, it is just looking great just looking like a wow <laughs> so thanks for watching this was a little tutorial for little series startup with the cute little monster and now I will show the last render image of this cute monster this, uh, this is all the thanks for watching for this tutorial so add some background layer and set the camera angle for better results and set the world properties and add the sky texture and tweak some edges and sorry tweak, don't tweak some edges set, set some settings and this is the final result thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one